Today, in the Western Hemisphere, more than 28 million persons have already contracted COVID-19, with immediate and continuing consequences for their human rights, particularly in communities of African descent. I propose five actions in line with the Commission's strategic plan to prevent human rights violations in future emergencies. First, the protection of democratic institutions and access to justice, particularly regarding the arbitrary suspension of fundamental guarantees. For example, training judges, national human rights institutions, attorney general's offices, on the inter-American human rights instruments and prioritizing digital platforms. Second, the reform of, pol reform of policies and laws, particularly those policies and laws related to essential services in collaboration with legislators and key ministries. Third, the strengthening of the precautionary measures program by conducting a COVID-19 situation analysis and trends assessment that covers the rights of women, older persons, persons with disabilities, migrants, prisoners, and health workers as human rights defenders. Fourth, prioritizing the Caribbean as a region that is particularly and disproportionately affected by non-communicable diseases and by national disasters. And fifth, staff development and a strategic mobilization of resources. Since these are two areas that are related with the, de with the delay in the individual petition system, I will work with the Commission on grant proposals and projects involving international development agencies and philanthropies. The special rapporteurships on economic, social, cultural, and environmental rights, freedom of expression, and the unit for COVID-19 will be a priority for implementing these actions. Thank you.